What I think differentiates uh, historically black colleges and universities is the fact that, that many have been under-resourced for, for decades. Uh, they, they began in an era of dual uh, uh, segregation and a dual system, rather, of higher education, a segregated system. And so many didn't have the resources uh, at the outset uh, in order to, to compete. So they had, in effect, a monopoly on students and faculty. Uh, with the elimination of a dual system of higher education, uh, they have to compete, and oftentimes they don't have the resources to compete effectively, and I think that is what's making a huge, huge difference for a lot of historically black colleges and universities today. Uh, historically black colleges and universities are uh, uh, still uh, needed. They still play a, uh, a very important role. Um, it's no secret that the African-American middle class uh, exists largely because of historically black colleges and universities. There are still students who um, would benefit from that experience, who seek that experience in the same way that students uh, seek going to, to Brandeis or, or Notre Dame. Uh, and there are some unique cultural uh, uh, experiences that students uh, have uh, on the campus of an historically black institution, as is the case uh, at a Spelman College, for example, which uh, does an outstanding job of preparing women for, for, for STEM uh, uh, careers, or careers where, where, where STEM is uh, science, technology, engineering, and math is very important. So yes, they play a vital role. I think it's becoming more and more uh, competitive for a lot of these institutions, but uh, they still play a vital role in American higher education.